evening, Tim Wooden with ABC News. There's been more problems with Brisbane after a more COVID restrictions in the city. Here's the report. The man from Strathpine is a friend of the landscaper who tested positive on Thursday night after being infectious in the community since last Friday. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk says 18 close contacts have been identified so far. The next two days are still going to be critical for us. Both local infections are linked to a recent cluster involving a doctor at Brisbane's Princess Alexandra Hospital. The cause of transmission is under investigation. Five new cases have also been detected in hotel quarantine. The Premier has asked the Prime Minister to halve Queensland's overseas arrivals intake for two weeks. There's been problems with the wine situation with China maintaining restrictions in over Australian. Here's a report. The world has just recorded 650,000 coronavirus cases in a day. That's the highest in six Fuck weeks. Fuck off! After it fell mid last month to under... Decides in Brisbane will have to spend the full two weeks in isolation from the date they were at those locations. The new directive is effective immediately and will be in place until the 30th of March. WA's Health Minister Roger Cook has warned the state government would not hesitate to take further action. We will take the necessary steps to protect the people of Western Australia. That could see Queensland moved from a very low-risk state to a low-risk state if necessary. The Deputy Prime Minister says he's looking forward to behavioural training to help improve the culture of the Federal National Party. Michael McCormack says reports of inappropriate conduct in Parliament in recent weeks aren't gut-wrenching and abhorrent, and he wants people to be better. Speaking at the Nationals Federal Conference in Canberra, Mr McCormack says he and senior members of his party have agreed to the training.